Okay, let me see if I can explain modifying a spot drill to remove a uh, helicoil. So uh, what I did, uh, in particular, I had a um, 3816 helicoil in some plastic parts, and I had to take this stock 38 spot drill, and you have to use the spot drill that's uh, sized according to the size of the helicoil. So uh, 3 eighths helicoil, 3 eighths spot drill, half inch helicoil, half inch spot drill, and so on. So I took this 3 eighths and uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of description here this is needed. So on all the spot drills, the right hand spot drills, or clockwise spot drills, uh, they'll all have a cutting edge, which is the, the, the edge that bites the material, removes it, and all have a relief the back side of the edge the back side of the cut the back side of the cut the back side of the tool call it relief that side is ground down lower than the cutting edge so that it doesn't rub and so the cutting edge uh, bites without um, the back end interfering in order to use a tool to remove a helicoil you have to change the geometry uh, so that the back edge the relief is now the cutting edge and vice versa so uh easily uh not easily but if you can on a, on a bench grinder you need to lower the cutting edge which is the higher edge this edge here was this edge here so if you can grind that down lower than the relief edge then in, in all um, reality, you should be able to run it in reverse, and this should be your new cutting edge while it, when it runs counterclockwise. Uh, you just have to make sure that the, that, the, that the old leading edge is lower than the relief edge. And uh, if you, if you kind of look at it, let me show you what, what I'm talking about. So if you look at the... Uh, the cutting edge there on the on the bottom let's just say and you rotate it uh, kind of bad example really really crappy lighting here but anyway you just want you just want the high edge to be on the back side you know so that this edge so that this edge cuts now going in reverse and this edge doesn't rub which this will do if you run it in reverse the the the, the higher edge the cutting edge will be rubbing and nothing's going to happen on this on this edge in reverse so that's the best explanation i can give i'm not a I'm not very good at this i'm just trying to help you guys out and maybe save some money but it is important that you do get the appropriate size spot drill um and i on my link it shows some, some other options and you can get some stuff from McMaster and you can also buy some reversible drills um, the reversible drills are a little bit tricky uh, since the angles a little bit weird you know 118 degrees uh, they do tend to want to just uh, rip into things uh, which might damage your existing threads I would I would suggest trying to get this to work first and um, if you just can't then I've seen some videos in there where people are just using picks and needle nose and kind of unwinding it that way. Now I've done that, uh, but it does kind of thrash the first, um, the first edge, the first thread, the lead. Uh, you got to go back and chase it a little bit. It works, but it's still a little scary for me to do because I just don't want to ruin parts. Uh, and I found that this is almost a little bit safer to use. Uh, so good luck. Uh, I hope this helps you out. Um, okay, see you guys, I'm already out.